Hey, you degenerates and thrill seekers, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't be a slacker. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the most bizarre and jaw-dropping news. Hold on to your hats because today's story is the kind of WTF moment that'll make you question humanity. So, picture this. A New Zealand food bank decided to play Santa, but instead of toys or even socks, they handed out pineapple-flavored candies that were secretly packed with meth. That's right, meth. These aren't your average Skittles. They're a one-way ticket to an accidental trip through crazy town. Imagine biting into a sweet treat and suddenly feeling like you're on a ride that makes the hangover look like a family-friendly movie. These candies were so packed with meth that they could have put a Speedway racer to shame. We're talking about doses up to 300 times what a junkie usually gets. That's not just a little bit of meth. That's enough to turn your average day into a full-blown meth-fueled apocalypse. It's like finding a grenade in your birthday cake, just with more of a, hey, I might die vibe. The New Zealand Drug Foundation, bless their souls, were the first to discover this delicious disaster. They said each candy was worth a whopping 1,000 New Zealand dollars. Yes, a grand for a piece of candy. It's like the Willy Wonka factory had a midlife crisis and started making Candy Crush the real deal. Just with more of a, you're gonna need a detox twist. Detective Inspector Glenn Baldwin and his squad are now on a manhunt for these lethal sugar bombs. They've tracked down 29 so far, but who knows how many are still out there lurking in the dark corners of Candyland, ready to ruin someone's day. It's a twisted game of hide-and-seek where the stakes are your health and your sanity. Helen Robinson from the City Mission said eight families, including kids, had the unfortunate luck of sampling these meth-infused horrors. The taste was so vile that most people spat them out quicker than you can say. What the hell? One poor staffer ended up in the hospital because apparently tasting meth candy is a fast track to an ER visit. Who needs a fun night out when you can have a night in the hospital, right? Rinda Food Industries, the company behind this train wreck, claims they're as shocked as everyone else. They're scrambling to distance themselves from this mess, saying they don't condone illegal drugs in their products. Classic move. Act surprised when your product turns into a crime scene. So, next time you're eyeing that candy stash, remember, not all sweets are created equal. Some might come with a side of danger that makes your last night out look like a church picnic. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this roller coaster of insanity, hit that thumbs up button and smash the notification bell so you don't miss out on more wild news. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video if you dare.